Um, my overall um, vision is really that we should become the professional association for choice for marketers in Australia. And one of the things that I'm particularly passionate about is professionalism and professionalism in our profession. I guess one of the challenges is anybody can really say, I'm a marketer and hang a shingle up to say I'm a marketer, but there's a difference between that sort of person and a professional marketer in my book. And a professional, you know, works to a code of ethics, you know, keeps up to date with everything that's going on and so on. And then our role as, as the AMI, as you know, looking after marketing professionals is really to provide the environment where we can help nurture their careers and provide them with opportunities to learn and to keep up to, to speed. And we offer the Certified Practicing Marketer, which is recognition of your professionalism. So, you know, a bit like uh, an accountant can't really call themselves an accountant unless they're like a CPA or whatever. In our space, we need to get to where the, um, the CPM designation is the uh, gold standard for, for marketers in Australia. Well, I've been a member of the AMI for quite a while. In fact, I joined when I was very early in my career. And part of the reason for doing that was to learn from being, you know, interacting with other, other marketers. So I've sort of been involved for quite a long time. But uh, a few years back, I decided that, um, you know, it, it was time to give something back and give it back to the profession that I really, you know, love and, and have had a great career in. So I, uh, first of all, I did, you know, I was a coach for the emerging marketers, so I was a, um, a mentor there. Then I joined the New South Wales Committee and really enjoyed my time on that committee before being co-opted onto the, onto the board. Um, and then my, uh, my fellow directors appointed me chair, and so I've done that for the past three years. So that was how I've, I've got involved. What do I bring to the board? Well, I am passionate about marketing and the profession of marketing, and I think that's one thing. But I think the other thing was um, I was asked to go on the board uh, because of my sort of um, both marketing background but also my commercial background and understanding around um, customers and bringing that sort of voice of customer to the boardroom and in our case the, the voice of members and using that to help shape what we offer uh, back to our, our members. That's a great question. Now, I'm a practitioner in that space, so I've got some first-hand experience of, and observations. I, I think the first thing is we are still in our infancy. I think there are very few companies in Australia that have actually taken the steps to move to where their business is starting to get really focused on, you know, um, on customers and meeting customer needs. I think that the, the trend will have to continue and we're going to have to see more organisations do it. I mean. Customers today have more choice and they have much higher expectations of the companies they deal with and, and it's who they choose to deal with So they're because of that choice. And they're better informed. So when you've got that environment, they're not going to deal with an organisation that delivers poor customer, uh, poor customer experience. It's funny when I talk to organisations and they say, oh, we want a CX strategy. And you go, well, you know CX, good customer experience, is the result of orientating your business towards delivering it. You know, it, it's an end result. And you get a few blank looks. Oh, isn't that just about playing and doing these things? And yeah, yeah, you can fix some things. But if you really want to be focused on um, meeting customer needs and delivering great outcomes, then you've got to reorientate your business. And uh, that starts with changing the internal culture, you know, so that the people who work there are passionate about it, that they think about the decisions that they make and how that impacts the end, end customer, that your policies and processes and procedures all get oriented around customer. And it's got to be led from the top. The important thing is, and, and what, what we talk about is, having someone who's a really strong advocate or catalyst for change. And the logical person is the marketing director. In some organisations, they're appointing customer um, experience managers. But unless they are got a seat at the executive table, it's really hard to influence the changes required in an organisation to deliver those outcomes. So I think we've started to see some move. I, I would hope in 2019 that we will start to see more traction coming along, not just because I work in that space, but I think that slowly, slowly, the realisation um, of you know, good customer experience is more than improving the customer service. You know, it is about 
all the back end things that you need to do. Do your policies reflect a good experience that the customer's going to have? You know, if they're interacting with your business, um, is it is it friendly to the to the to the customer? Because as I said at the outset, they have choice. They also have experiences of other organisations, and they are, you know you're a consumer. You know you rate you rate your experiences, and you're pretty quick to move now if you don't have a great experience. But it's not just about you know giving a really good um, service at the point of contact. That's important. But unless your organisation is aligned to deliver that, then um, then it's going to be fairly short lived, I think. So hopefully moving forward, we'll see that as a trend. It's been threatening to happen over the last few years and some companies have embraced it and have made that. Uh, we work with some companies that are you know, making progress towards that, um, which is great and they're getting some fabulous traction, but you know, there needs to be that sort of corporate willingness to say, okay, we have to change the way we run our business and, and everybody's in, in this journey of getting to orientate our business around our customers.